What is up YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I'm going to be talking about is hope. Yeah, I actually have hope for Madden 15 Ultimate Team based on something that happened yesterday in the game. Now, for those of you who are unaware, if you're not somebody that pays attention to Madden Ultimate Team every day or every waking moment of your day, you probably missed that EA actually went in and made some changes to the auction house on Tuesday afternoon. Now, what they actually did was they changed the way that you could place cards onto the auction house. And what they did was they basically made it so that if you were selling an item for a given you know, a, a different increment of coins. So, you know, somewhere between, let's say, 10,000 to 25,000. If somebody was making a bid, they could only make a bid in intervals of 1,000. And nobody, when this when this change was made, had any idea that this was coming. They, they didn't reference it at all to anybody that I'm aware of. No one had, even the EA Game Changers were taken aback by it. But they made this change and immediately it drastically affected the market. And the reason for it, as you see on your screen right now, is because they, they made these intervals and they started to make such significant intervals of, you know, prices that you could bid on the items, but also you could only place items in intervals of that denomination. So let's say, for example, that you wanted to sell an item for you know, 52,500 coins, just as an example, right? You could have done that under the previous setup that they had, the, the setup that has been in Madden this entire time, and that would have been no problem. But under the system that they put in place yesterday, you could only sell it for either 50,000 or 55,000 coins. You were not able to put it into that into that middle range uh, for, you know, 52.5, which made it, first of all, difficult to price things exactly how you wanted to. But secondly, it made things almost impossible to, to price under somebody else. You couldn't undercut the least expensive thing unless you wanted to take a huge discount on the amount that you were selling it for. Like for example, when you start to look at some of the more expensive items, that 500,000 to the million coin range that some coins or that some cards do fall under, you could only set it up in 50,000 coin denominations. So like you would either have to sell an item for 600,000 or 550,000, nothing in between. And, and obviously it got more dramatic than that as the items as as the prices of the items went up but it, it really affected things dramatically very quickly and people were pissed about it I actually didn't sell anything during that time frame because I was kind of confused I wasn't for sure what they were doing I and I to be honest with you I wanted to see what was gonna happen with the market to see if I started to need to price things lower or higher depending on kind of how things were going most people were saying of course you know you got your cynics on Madden that are talking about how um, you know EA just wants to get more money out of people and by making people put things at higher prices they're going to you know take more coins out of the 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 market because they're going to take a higher percentage on their tax which is going to in turn cause people to spend more money on the game you know yada 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 as 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 uh frustrating as that can be um I don't think that that's what EA was doing in this case and I like I said I have hope right now after what happened, and it didn't start off that way, I gotta admit to you, because EA actually put out a tweet that said, uh, and this was about, uh, you know, middle of the day on, uh, on Tuesday, that said, we've heard you on the changes made to Madden Ultimate Team, and we're looking at a change. No estimated time. So, uh, they were obviously talking about the auction house changes that they made, but the end of it, no estimated time. If they would have just, just left it at, we're looking to, at a change, I think people would have looked at it like, you know, oh, good, good. At least they, they are listening to us and they're not, you know, going to completely screw us on this. They, they understand where we're coming from. No, 
they added that no estimated time at the end of it. <laughs> and I think that just frustrated people because we've sat here and waited for them to put out certain content throughout this week because we understand, you know, these guys that are on the EA Madden Ultimate Team development team, they have to take vacations too. They've got to go out for, you know, New Year's and, and the holiday season and that kind of stuff. They've got to take their time just like the rest of us do. But when they add this no estimated time at the end of it, it just, it, it almost seems like, eh, screw yourselves, you know? <laughs> That's pretty much what they were saying to you, to you at that point, which is, uh, which of course, like I said, pissed a lot of people off, and they were really, really mad. There were people that were swearing off this game, telling people, don't post anything on the auction block, don't buy any packs for a week, let's tell these guys, you know, they were starting to revolt, basically, uh, and it wasn't really going anywhere, but, you know, on Twitter, there was there was a, there was was a definitely a push for people to push back on what we were getting from Madden Ultimate Team, but... Later in the afternoon, that I guess I should say probably in the evening, I guess, they said uh, they put out another tweet. Update on the now reverted auction house changes. Thanks for your patience. Link. And then it was a link to the EA article, which then went in and explained that, uh, you know, kind of a more explanation on what they were trying to do. And, they, and here's what it said. Tuesday, a change was made to the Madden Ultimate Team auction house bidding increments. The only intent of this change was to speed up the bidding process. On moderate and high-priced items, an auction could go for as much as 90 minutes longer than the original duration specified, forcing bidders into a time-consuming waiting game at 30 seconds per bid. There was also an unintended additional effect of changing the increments of buy now prices, which is of course what people were really upset about. This change should have been messaged to the community more clearly, and it has been rolled back. EA Sports and Madden Ultimate Team apologize for any inconvenience change this change may have caused. So, they heard from us, and it took them a couple hours, but at least they made the change. And that's something that I really I appreciate out of Madden at this point. That's something that not a lot of other developers will do when they make a mistake. And we've we've seen EA do this before with other things. You know, they they put out the Easter promo uh and in Madden 25. And a lot of people were really, really upset about that, <laughs> the way that that whole thing went. Um and there, as far as I can recall, there was never an apology about that. Um, they've made other ch minor changes that have really affected the gameplay that ev eventually were reverted or changed in addition to what they did. And there was never any apology for that. So it's good to see that at least the EA Madden Ultimate Team grouping of guys that, that work in their development team, they're actually going out there and they're, they're reading Twitter. They're listening to us. So uh, I titled this video... Do your opinions really matter? Or does your feedback really matter? And I'm gonna go out here and say, in this case, I'm feeling I'm feeling the love from these guys. And I know that's gonna make me sound like an EA ass kisser, but you guys have seen my videos before. I tell it like it is. When these guys mess up, I'm gonna say it. And when they do the right thing, I'm gonna say that as well. So I, I do appreciate it. I wanna thank them for going out there and doing the right thing and making the changes go back to how they were on the auction house. And I appreciate and understand why they made the change that they did now that I read it. I, I understand when you're actually going in and, and bidding on things that, that, yeah, that would be pretty frustrating to sit and bid for 90 minutes on something going in uh, small intervals like you did before. But what I will say in regards to that is that EA could easily change, well I shouldn't say easily because I'm not a developer, but the, the obvious change here to make in regards to that is to stop forcing people to make one bid increments. Stop making it like a freaking one of these websites where you bid once and you have to spend 10 cents per bid and, and you know that's how they make all their money so that when they sell the $50 PlayStation 4, well yeah they, made, they sold the PlayStation 4 for $50 but they made $550 on the 10 cent bids that everybody made all the way up, you know, I, I, I don't understand why they went with that style of auction, why not just make it like, you know, a normal auction, if you go on to eBay, you don't have to bid one cent at a time, you bid the amount that you want to bid, and even you could do, you could set it up like eBay has, where they have the MyMax bid on it, why not, 
Like, I don't understand why you can't just do that. It, it's so stupid to me. I, I don't get it. Um, it. It seems to me like they just want to have people on the game sitting there and staring at their at their screen. The, the next video or the next stupid card that's going up, I need to bid this much more on because I didn't quite get this one. Yay! You know, like special ed. Um, <laughs> but that it's just, to me, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense the way that the auction house is set up right now. I hope that they make that change eventually and make it more like an eBay auctioning system. If somebody wants to explain to me why they shouldn't do that, I'd be glad to hear it in the comments section below. But to me, it just makes a whole hell of a lot of sense to do that. So uh, that's my personal opinion on the situation. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, I just want to thank you guys, too, for tuning in and listening to this video, listening to my little rant. And uh, what you're going to see now is a little bonus for you, who, for all of you who sat through and uh, ended up actually watching this whole video. What I am going to do is hop on here and rip three pro packs just for the fun of it. We'll see what we get here. I've sold quite a few gold items, which is why I've got so many more coins than I did before. I didn't, I, that I can recall. I don't think I've put any, any more money into the game since the last time you guys saw. But uh, I did sell, like I said, a whole bunch of gold items at, you know, seven to, you know, three to seven to eight, maybe 10,000 coins a piece on occasion. And when you do that over time and you've got hundreds of them, it adds up. So that's what I've been able to do. That's why I'm at 890,000, which I know to some of you isn't very much still. But to me, it's a decent chunk. So we're going to open up a few pro packs just for the hell of it since you guys sat through and listened to this whole rant. And I also, I like I said, guys, I want to hear your comments on this whole thing. Are you guys feeling a little bit more optimistic now that they made this change and uh, reverted things back to how they were? Or are you still pretty frustrated with EA? Let me know in the comment section below as we get Adrian Wilson for our gold item. Nothing good here to start things off. But we'll go back and uh, we'll purchase two more of these little pro packs. I might do a veteran pack bundle at some point. But I'll tell you guys this much. I think that if there's something to be complaining about, it's the fact that these pack odds are some ass this year. And I'm not just talking about the odds to pull great cards. I'm talking the odds to pull even decent cards as we get Mike Evans 73 overall as our pro pack. And, and not only that, not just the odds being bad, but look at this. This contains two gold or elite players and a mix of eight other player and team items. It doesn't say anything about giving you better odds on pulling great stuff, okay? So think about this. You get one gold player here, one gold or elite, and you get nine other player items. So in these packs, you're getting the same number of total cards. So basically what you're doing here is you're doubling your number of golds that you get. So think about this. If you open up two pro packs, you would get the same amount of golds or elites as you do in a veteran pack, right? But you're actually getting two extra additional cards. Now, most of the time those cards are crap, but you're still getting two extra cards because you're not you know, you're not losing the one uh, on the gold, if that if that makes sense. Um, you would get your, you would still get your two golds, but then you would additionally get additional bronze items on top of that, if, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, but look at this. It costs 2,500 more coins to open up the veteran pack, despite the fact that you're actually getting slightly less content than you would in a pro pack, or in two pro packs, excuse me. So that's why I just, I don't really like these veteran packs. If they told us that you actually got better odds on pulling elites or legends or anything like that, then it would totally be worth it. Even if it was only slightly better, then there's at least a reason to open them up. But to me, based on the fact that you don't really get anything better than you do in the pro packs, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I know you, of course, do get the, the uh, topper here, but it's just two gold rising stars. So, like, who really cares? You, so you get a free rising stars. So, okay. They're not that expensive to begin with. And look how many coins it costs you to open up these things, or how many points, I mean, it, it costs to open up these bundles. Oh, well. All right, last pro pack of the day here. Let's hop into it. See if we get anything. Nate Ebner and Bernard Pollard. Ryan loves Bernard Pollard. 
XRI915 is a big fan of him, but he's not really worth anything. So, of course, we didn't get anything in any of our packs today. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just want to give you guys a couple of pro packs here at the end of the video for a little bonus. And thank you guys for uh, watching this whole thing and uh, giving me your feedback below as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, press the subscribe button because you've always, you're always going to see a ton of Madden Ultimate Team content from me, whether it's pack openings, opinion videos like this gameplay um we'll be doing pink slips here in the next couple of days i'm still trying to figure out which item i want to put up but i will be doing a pink slips here within the next week or so so be on the lookout for that guys thank you guys so much for tuning in hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you guys again soon